So my name is Annie Chrissy Burley, and um, my work just goes over um, a broad range of topics kind of stemming from the root of um, how I see myself as an image bearer of Christ, um, and then how I then look at culture, and I believe that there's an element of representation that can sometimes be lacking when it comes to um, animation because historically a lot of people who've been on the animation table, which I'll talk about later, have been people who are not like me, you know, as an um, African-American woman. So um, I like just pulling, pulling from that with multiple, you know, mediums, um, merging a lot of elements and details I look at character design um, on the outside level, you know, with animations um, that you might commonly know, and specifically African American character design, I mean, African American female character design, and I make commentary on that through my work. Yeah, I started doing research on, with uh, this book called Birth of an Industry. And it was able, I was able with this book to make connections and jumping off points uh, with the rise of animation, the animation industry that we have today. And it's leaning from minstrelsy to vaudeville to, you know, because animation started as like this magical performance in vaudeville. Like the animation was like when you think about Winsor McKay, he would... Um, take character designs and like, they're mostly stereotype character design. I feel like Mitchell C can not just regulate itself to just blackface, but performative, the performative nature of perf performing as another group of people. A lot of my current work has been kind of like focusing more on the aesthetic, using the aesthetic anim of animation to, to really kind of get my point across, taking from animation cells, like the, the visual language of animation cells, and using that to kind of like make a layered piece as if you're taking a frame from an animation itself. And the first layer is kind of like that separation that's happening between the soul of the person that's being represented in the background. You know, the backgrounds of these pieces, all this, you know, kind of elements fighting with each other. Um, so I try to make the color, like those little um, paint skins, be that separation between the noise and the background so that that character can have their moment to be vulnerable. To, I'm trying to do a different mode of art creating where I'm not just putting my feelings on the chopping block. You know, I want to be able to also have truth and revelation and positivity um, being reflected. Um, but I believe there are times, I believe there are times in, like I'm an artist, I'm going to be making multiple bodies of work, talking about multiple different things. So I believe there's times of um, letting go and being authentic in a specific way.